level Super Saiyan Blue. I'm not done. I can take this power level and multiply it. Kaio! Autonomous Ultra Instinct. He's reacting so quickly. I see. Hmm? But why now? And why is it Goku? Well, my lord, the Saiyan Spirit Bomb most likely served as the... <laughs> hey! I am Gokui, and the show starts now! This... It's absolute cinema! Hey, how's it going? Just here to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, and then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside in our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. Intense training on planet Beerus. Goku began his training in the celestial realm, but during a visit to planet Beerus to hone his divine combat skills, he had the unique opportunity to train with the god of destruction himself. Beerus. On the majestic stage of the planet Beerus, the two warriors prepared for a friendly confrontation. The aura of celestial power enveloped the battlefield as Goku and Beerus faced the to see if we can really compete with the god of destruction. <laughs> of course, Beerus! It's gonna be epic! The battle began. And Goku's quick and precise movements surprised even the fearsome God of Destruction. They exchanged powerful blows, each exploring new techniques and strategies. Planet Beerus vibrated with the intensity of the fight. Whis and the others watched from afar, impressed by Goku's ability to adapt and grow even in the midst of battle. As training continued, Goku absorbed Beerus' valuable lessons about the power of destruction and the importance of balance. At the end of the training, Beerus was satisfied. <sighs> you improved, Goku. <clears throat> Maybe it won't be so annoying having you around. <sighs> Thank you, Lord Beerus. <clears throat> it, <clears throat> it was an amazing training. <laughs> As Goku continued to train in the Celestial Realm, his journey on Planet Beerus became a crucial part of his evolution. Promising even more exciting challenges in the future, the multiverse eagerly waited to witness Goku's rise to new heights of power. Goku's Celestial Ambitions After intense training on Planet Beerus, Goku and Whis returned to the Celestial Realm. Whis, always intrigued by Goku's thirst for power and overcoming, decided to question the Saiyan's ambitions. Goku, throughout the time I've been training you, I've noticed that you've constantly seeking new levels of power. But tell me, what level do you want to reach? Goku, smiling, reflected on Whis's question. <laughs> Whis. I never stop challenging myself because I know there's always something more to achieve. I want to become the strongest I can, not just for myself, but to protect my friends and the universe. There is no limit to my desire for growth. Whis, with a look of understanding, nodded. Hmm, I understand, Son Goku. Your determination is truly admirable. Continue to strive your improvement, but remember, strength is not only measured by combat power, but also by wisdom and compassion. <laughs> You're right, Whis. The journey is not just about power, but about using it. I will strive to be not only the strongest warrior, but also the wisest and most compassionate. Vegeta's Quest for Celestial Power while Goku was immersed in his training in the Celestial Realm, Vegeta, feeling the need to evolve even further, decided to follow in his rival's footsteps. He arrived on planet Beerus, determined to reach new levels of power. Beerus, upon seeing Vegeta, smiled sarcastically. Vegeta, what brought you here? Don't tell me you're also wanting to divine training. Vegeta, with a determined look, replied. I won't fall to Kakarot. If he's becoming stronger, so will I. Please, Lord Beerus, train me. 
the God of Destruction, surprised by Vegeta's determination, agreed to train with him. The fight between the two began, and the planet Beerus once again witnessed the intensity of celestial training. As Beerus and Vegeta faced off, Whis watched intently, intrigued by both warriors' determination. Vegeta, the search for divine power is a challenging journey. Are you ready to face the challenges ahead? Vegeta, between blows and explosions of energy, responded with confidence. Of course I am! I won't be surpassed by Kakarot! And when I finish my training here, I'll make sure no one doubts the power of the Prince of All Saiyans! Vegeta's training on Planet Beerus was just beginning, promising to not only increase his power, but also explore divine aspects of his existence. The universe watched with interest as the two most powerful Saiyans continued their quest for celestial supremacy. The Divine Confrontation – Goku vs Vegeta After weeks of intense training on planet Beerus, Vegeta felt that he had reached a new level of celestial power. Determined to test his abilities and skills and measure his progress, he decided to challenge Goku to a fight in the celestial realm. Kakarot the time has come to see who really is the strongest. Let's fight here and now. <laughs> Vegeta, I've always liked a good fight. Let's go! The two Saiyan warriors positioned themselves in a celestial setting with a star shining around them. The divine aura surrounded Goku and Vegeta, indicating the cosmic power they acquired during their training. The battle began with a frenzied exchange of punches and kicks, the two combatants demonstrating their new divine abilities. The celestial realm vibrated with the intensity of the confrontation. As Goku and Vegeta faced each other, Whis watched closely, analyzing every move. Interesting! Both have reached remarkable levels of power. This fight will be crucial in determined who is really the masters of celestial power. Beerus also watched, curious to see who would emerge as the most powerful warrior. Hmm. These two never cease to surprise me. I want to see how far they can go. The fight between Goku and Vegeta unfolded, each revealing new techniques and strategies. The multiverse anxiously awaited the outcome of this epic divine confrontation, knowing that the rivalry between these two Saiyans was far from over. The Cosmic Ascension – Reflections of Beerus After watching the intense fight between Goku and Vegeta in the Celestial Realm, Beerus, the god of destruction, was deeply intrigued. He turned to Whis to share his thoughts on the Saiyan's continued rise of power. Whis, have you noticed how Goku and Vegeta's power level is reaching new heights with each training? It's getting out of control. Whis, with his usual calmness, replied. <laughs> Indeed, Lord Beerus, their progress is quite remarkable. It seems their celestial training is pushing their abilities to unimaginable limits. Uh, no, I'm not complaining about the training, Whis. Uh, but I'm starting to wonder if it's going to create problems. These two Saiyans are constantly pushing the limits of what's possible. We smile, noticing Beerus's concerns. Lord Beerus, evolution is a natural part of this cosmic cycle. Goku and Vegeta are just following their destiny, as are all beings in the universe and everyone who lives in it. Furthermore, an increase in power could be beneficial in maintaining balance, you know, like in the Tournament of Power. If we're strong enough, we won't even need to be there. Beerus, looking at the expanding universe, agreed but still maintained a hint of concern. That is true. I hope they know what they're doing. I don't want to have to intervene any more than I already have. As Goku and Vegeta's power continued to grow, the cosmic balance seemed to be in constant flux. The Coming Shadow Daishinkan's conversation with Zenosama 
in the peaceful Grand Priest Palace, Daishi can sense the disturbance in the cosmic balance. With a serious expression, he decided to talk to Zenosama about a threat looming over the universe. My lord, there is something I need to tell you. I feel a disturbance in the cosmic energies as if a shadow is approaching. The normally cheerful Zenosama frowned with concern. A shadow? What do you mean, Daishinkan? Is the balance of the universe in danger? I can't say for sure, but my celestial intuition warns of an imminent threat. It seems that something, or someone, is manipulating the energies of the multiverse in a dangerous way. If it poses a threat, we need to take immediate action. We cannot allow the balance to be disturbed. Indeed. We must watch closely and be prepared to act. The origin of this disturbance is still unknown, but the magnitude is quite significant. While Zenosama and Daishikan discussed the possible threat, the universe waited with apprehension, not knowing what was to come. The mysterious shadow cast a cloud of uncertainty over the fate of the universes, and the celestial gods were about to face a challenge that transcended the boundaries of the known. Divine summons the call of Daishinkan. Faced with the imminent approaching shadow, Daishinkan summoned Goku and Vegeta to an urgent meeting at Zenosama's palace. Both Saiyans now imbued with celestial power were surprised by the call and promptly headed to the designated location. In the palace's majestic hall, Daishinkan waited seriously while Zenosama watched curiously. Goku, Vegeta, I thank you for coming so quickly. Something disturbing is happening in the universes, and we need to discuss how to face this threat. Daishikan, we're ready to face any challenge. What's going on? Daishikan explained the disturbance in cosmic energies and the possible approaching threat. Zenosama listened attentively, showing signs of concern on his childish face. I understand. We need to ensure that the balance of the universes is preserved. Goku, Vegeta. You are crucial in this situation! Indeed, that is exactly what I mean. Your celestial abilities will be needed to face the unknown. I am confident that together we can protect the universes. <laughs> no matter what it is, I will not allow it to be threatening our home. We will face this shadow and protect the balance. Together as always. Let's face this threat and ensure that the multiverse remains in harmony. Thus, the Celestial Warriors prepared for a new journey, without fully knowing what they were going to fight against. The fate of the universes was once again in the hands of Goku and Vegeta. Dark Origins, the mystery of Zaro. Daishikan looked at Goku and Vegeta gravely before beginning to reveal details about the threat looming over the universes. Goku, Vegeta. The cosmic disturbance we feel is centered in a planet called Zaru. A long time ago, this planet was the scene of a dark event. Huh? What happened there? What happened in Zaru, Daishikan? Goku asked, quite intrigued. There was a dark warrior in Zaru, an entity that defied the gods themselves and threatened the balance of the universes. This being known as Zorax, was a force to be feared. Zorax? We've never heard of this guy before. What happened to him? Eons ago, the gods joined forces to seal Zorax and eradicate the threat he posed. However, it appeared he was trying to resurface, and his dark energies are spreading again. Then let's go! Let's go to Zoro and stop this from happening! We can't let a threat like this harm the universes! I agree. We must act quickly. Zoroin is a dangerous planet, and Zorex is a force that defies even the gods. Be prepared to face the unknown. With the revelation of Zoro and the threat posed by Zorex, Goku and Vegeta prepared for the another crucial mission. The fate of the universes was once again at stake, and the approaching shadow had a dark origin that defied even the celestial gods. Towards Zoro, the call to action. After accepting Daishikan's mission to face the dark threat originating from Zoro, 
Goku and Vegeta return to Planet Beerus to prepare and inform Whis about the dangerous journey that awaited them. When they arrived, Whis noticed the seriousness of the Saiyans' faces and greeted them with a smile. Oh, welcome back, Goku, Vegeta. I see you have something important to share. Goku, with determination, began to explain. Whis, we have received an urgent mission from the Grand Priest. There is a planet called Zoro, and the ancient Dark Threat is resurfacing. We need to go there and stop it. Whis, analyzing the gravity of the situation, nodded understandingly. Hmm, Zorum. It's a dangerous place indeed. It's about Zorix. Am I right? He is a fearsome force. Are you prepared to face him? Hmm. <laughs> no matter how strong he is, we can allow this threat to harm the universes. Of course we're ready. Very well then. I will ensure you have the necessary resources for the journey. But be aware that Zoru is a unique challenge. Your strength and skills will be tested to the limit. <laughs> We're used to challenge Whis, and this one will be no different. We count on your guidance. Whis agreed and began devising a plan to equip Goku and Vegeta with the tools and information needed to face Zorax on Zoron. Thus, the Saiyans, carrying the responsibility of protecting the universes, prepared themselves for a journey full of dangers on a planet obscured by the shadow of darkness. Zara's fate and cosmic balance were now in the hands of these determined warriors. Journey into the darkness. The landing at Zaro. With preparations completed by Whis, Goku and Vegeta were ready to face the threat of Zorex on planet Zaro. Whis, using his teleportation abilities, sent them directly to the surface of this mysterious world. Upon arriving, the Saiyans could feel the oppressive energy that surrounded Zaro. The sky was dyed in gloomy tones, indicating the presence of dark influence. <laughs> it seems like things around here aren't even good. Hmm. Hmm. Zaro is truly a sinister place. Let's be careful, Kakarot. I don't want you to die around here. We have a share custom made. As they explored the planet, they came across desolate landscapes and ancient ruins. The echo of a sinister energy guided them towards Zorax. After a challenging journey, they found a dark cave where the malevolent presence was the most intense. Upon entering, they came across an ancient chamber where Zorex waited. Zorex, a figure shrouded in shadow, rose from his throne upon noticing the arrival of the Saiyans. Ah, warriors of the universes. I have come to purify this world and rewrite the destiny of the gods. Goku, preparing for combat, responded. We will not allow you to cause any more damage. We are here to stop you. The battle began, and Zorix revealed dark abilities that defied the Saiyan's understanding. Goku and Vegeta employed every technique and power at their disposal to face this dark warrior. Meanwhile, Whis and Daishikan watched the fight from their posts in the Celestial Realm, aware that the fate of the universes was being decided at the moment. Thus, on Zorum, Goku and Vegeta faced one of the greatest threat they had ever encountered. With the fate of the universes hanging in the balance of battle. The Shadow Dance. Zorax the Defiant. Goku and Vegeta faced with Zorax transformed into Super Saiyans. Ready to face the mysterious being that threatened the universes. However, Zorax proved to be a formidable opponent. Withstanding the Saiyans attacks with sinister grace. Super Saiyans. Interesting choice. But their mundane forms won't be enough to stop me. The shadows around Zorix began to pulse, and he momentarily disappeared, only to reappear behind Goku with surprising speed. His hand covered in darkness hit Goku, sending him flying. Vegeta, perplexed by Zorix's agility, tried to attack, but the mysterious being dodged each blow with ease. <clears throat> The speed! How is it possible? Zorix, with his dark smile, explained. 
I am the result of energies older than you can ever comprehend. My abilities transcend the limitations of your knowledge. Goku, recovering, stood up and said, <laughs> Then we'll have to up our game! Both Saiyans concentrated their keys, transcending into their Super Saiyan God forms. However, even in this form, Zorix continued to dodge their attacks with ease, showing impressive dexterity. You are still far from challenging me. <laughs> Your powers are mere reflections of light in the universe of darkness. The battle intensified, becoming a chaotic dance between light and shadows. Zorex proved to be an adversary that challenged even the skills of the universe's mightiest warriors. Meanwhile, in the celestial realm, Whis and Daishikan watched worriedly. Realizing that Zorex was a threat that could shake the very foundations of the multiverse. In the celestial realm, while watching the intense battle between Goku, Vegeta, and Zorex, Daishikan and Whis shared their worries and thoughts. Daishikan, maintaining his composure, said, Whis, this threat is more powerful than we anticipated. Zorex appears to have access to energies far beyond our comprehension. Whis, despite the tension in the situation, replied, Yes, father. When I trust in Goku and Vegeta's strength, they have overcome unimaginable challenges in the past. Indeed, Whis. However, this threat is unique. Zorex seems to transcend even the limits of the gods. We must trust that the Saiyans will find a way to contain this darkness. Meanwhile, on the surface of Zorun, Goku and Vegeta continued to fight, exploring new strategies to face Zorex. The Saiyans are aware of the gravity of the situation. They began to synchronize their movements and attacks, seeking to create openings in the defense of the mysterious dark being. Vegeta! Let's combine our attacks! He's too fast to face separately! Vegeta nodded, and the two began to coordinate their movements, creating a unique synergy between their techniques. Zorax, noticing the change in the same strategy, smiled. Ha! <laughs> Finally showing some resistance. But they are still far from challenging me. As the battle waged, the Celestial Realm remained watchful, trusting that Goku and Vegeta, with their unwavering determination, would find a way to overcome the threat posed by Zorax. The fate of the universes was in the hands of these unlikely warriors, but they're strong. As Goku and Vegeta struggled to face Zorax, the darkness surrounding him began to intensify. Zorax raised his arms to the sky, absorbing the dark energy that permeated Zorum. His form began to transform, revealing a silhouette that resembled that of a dragon. Goku and Vegeta, surprised by the evolution of Zorex's transformation, exchanged determined looks. Zorex, now surrounded, shrouded in a black aura and shadowy scales, released a roar that echoed across the entire planet. You are nothing but mere mortals, unable to comprehend the true extent of my power. <laughs> Zorek's transformation revealed shadowy wings and flaming eyes, giving him an appearance reminiscent of a dark dragon. His presence became even more oppressive, and the gravity of the situation weighed on the Saiyans. Uh, this is getting out of control, Vegeta! We need to unite our forces this new form! <laughs> Saiyans, uniting their forces, advanced to the final confrontation. Zorax, now in the form of a dark dragon, unleashed devastating attacks, challenging the warriors to surpass their own limits. Meanwhile, in the Celestial Realm, Daishikan and Whis watched closely, realizing that the real battle was just beginning. Zorax's transformation had raised the threat to a new level, and hope resided in Goku and Vegeta's ability to overcome this challenge even further. Faced with Zorak's draconian transformation, Daishikan watched closely, noticing something that deeply surprised him. His serene expression revealed a hint of astonishment as he muttered himself. Interesting. This... 
This transformation... It seems to be the result of the same lineage that gave rise to the Dragon God Zarama. Whis, upon hearing Daishikan's words, raised an eyebrow in surprise. Dragon God Zarama? So, Zorax and Zarama share an ancient connection? Daishika nodded, demonstrating knowledge that exceeded expectations. Yes, Whis. Zarama is an ancient being responsible for creating the Super Dragon Balls. It seems that Zorax carries the lineage of these Dragon Gods, which explains his current form. As the battle between Goku, Vegeta, and Zorax unfolded, Daishikan reflected on the complexity of the situation. The connection between Zorax and Zorama added an additional layer of mystery to the threat looming over the universes. Whis, intrigued, asked, Does this mean that Zorax can have access to powers similar to Zorama's? Possibly. We must be prepared for the unexpected. Zorax may have acquired not only the strength of the Dragon Gods, but also their wish-granting capabilities. That is what worries me more. As Daishikan and Whis continued to observe the battle, it became clear that the true extent of Zorak's power was yet to be revealed, making the situation even more unpredictable. Zorax, now encased in dragon form, gave Goku and Vegeta a sharp look. A sinister smile formed on his face, and his laughter echoed across the entire surface of planet Zoro. <laughs> uh, Saiyans, do you think you were brought here of your own free will? Was it the Grand Priest who sent you to face my wrath? Goku and Vegeta, still recovering from the previous attacks, exchanged determined looks. Goku, with a typical confident expression, replied, It doesn't matter who sent us, Zorax. We're here to protect the universes and put an end to threats like you! <clears throat> Whoever sent us, there is no escaping your determination to defeat any adversary. <laughs> Such bravery. We will see how long this determination will last in the face of the true power of darkness. As Zorex prepared for more attacks, Goku and Vegeta focused their energy, ready to face the threat unfolding before them. The true nature of the connection between Zorex, Daishikan, and the Dragon God still remained shrouded in mystery but the Saiyans were willing to face any challenge to protect the universes. With the sinuous movement of his shadow wings, Zorax launched himself into a launch at Goku and Vegeta. The speed of their attacks was overwhelming, leaving the Saiyans at a disadvantage. Blow after blow, Zorax demonstrated combat mastery that transcended any opponent Goku and Vegeta had ever faced. Goku, trying to dodge the attacks, realized the gravity of the situation. Vegeta! He's stronger than we imagined! We need to find a new strategy! God damn it, Kakarot! You're right! We can't face him individually! Let's try to fight synchronizing! However, even by joining forces, Goku and Vegeta were unable to match Zorak's speed and dexterity. The Dark Being dealt a final blow that left them on their knees, exhausted and unable to get up. Zorax, looking at his falling opponents, revealed his true goal. <laughs> now that you are out of the way, I will be able to bring Zorama back. The High Priest will be grateful for it. As Zorax prepared to complete his mission, Goku and Vegeta, despite being weakened, exchanged determined looks. The promise to bring back Zorama heightened the gravity of the situation, and the Saiyans knew they needed to find a way to overcome Zorax's overwhelming strength to prevent their plans from coming to friction. Right there and then, 
In an instant, the atmosphere around Goku began to shake as a silver aura began to envelop him. Ultra Instinct, the ability that allowed Goku to transcend the limits of his body, was achieved again. At the same time, Vegeta, in a gesture of pure determination, unleashed the power of Ultra Ego. An intense golden aura and purple surrounding him, reflecting the willpower and pride that burned within him. Zorax, noticing the change, turned his attention to the Saiyans again. But something in his eyes indicated a momentarily a wariness. Goku, within a serenity intensified by Ultra Instinct, said, Don't think this is the end, Zorax. <clears throat> we will stop you and protect the universes. Vegeta, with the willpower of his Ultra Ego pulsing, added, <laughs> you underestimate the Saiyan's determination! Now, prepare for the true power! The Saiyan stood up, now enveloped in a power that transcended their previous forms. The battle was about to enter a new stage, with Goku and Vegeta ready to face Zorex with all of their might. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe in and what do you imagine about all of this? Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe here to the channel and then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>